Hey, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I last posted a video and that's because I have been focusing on building my PC. <laughs> so let's just say there's been a lot of delays that's been happening apart from that things from my home country to Philippines have just been popping out. But you know what? I'm back. I have the groove and now we will be continuing God of War Chains of Olympus. So what happened last time? Last time we basically got into a fight with Sharon and the very first fight that we had with him, it was kind of unfair because he was healing himself and eventually he basically tossed us into Tartarus where we had to find our way back up and on our way back up we got or achieved the Gauntlet of Zeus which we can use to smash stuff. So, and then eventually we were able to have a rematch with Sharon where we beat his ass. So <laughs> with that said, I am excited to get started with what I think or feel like is already the finale because I, I do know that Chains of Olympus is a, is, a, is a short game. And oh yeah, at the end of the last episode, we found or we saw an image of Calliope playing the flute and then she walked away. And I remember asking if this is real or if this is like a trick being played on us, which you know what, with all the God of War that I've ever played, it is not smart to play with Kratos' heart because he will, he will end you. <laughs> so yeah, with that said, I wanna get started and Let's get this party started. <laughs> Ooh, Temple of Persephone. <laughs> Dude, I love her, huh? <laughs> Goddess queen of the underworld. Yeah, I know her. I love Persephone. She was my favorite goddess growing up. Demetrius Demeter. Thus her born the seed. Oh yeah, I remember that. I remember that.
Wait. <laughs> I guess we're not. Let's upgrade because we already have at least 10,000. Maximus. Yeah, this one for sure. I feel like I'm using it a lot. Ooh, nice. Okay. Let's just get some more orbs for so that we can upgrade the gauntlet some more. <laughs> Dude, her her laugh is kind of well. Actually, it's kind of cute. Why is this? Oh. Oh. I should break. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I should because then the Medusa. Because the Medusa player. I want to know the deal about this. I'm so curious. Oh my gosh. The curiosity killed cat. <laughs>
Ay, ay, ay. magic back where we were a while ago I think I didn't open the chest cuz nice Before we get started, let's upgrade again to side out. Oh, nice. Shiny things I can punch. get them.
we're good in this level? She keeps running away from me. You would think she'd be happy to see her papa, but... <laughs> but anyway, before we go, let's just upgrade... To oh! Yeah. Oh wait, no. Ah, I spoke too soon. My gosh. Ay, 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 ay. I like how Medusa looks like that. I like the purple scale.
Okay. It's her. You know what? The reason why I kind of was like a bit shocked. Her smile reminded me a bit of regret. Kratos looked, but his daughter was nowhere to be seen. In the middle of the room sat a graceful figure, a figure he recognized all too well. Persephone, wife of Hades, and queen of the undead. Where is my daughter, witch? Choose your words carefully, ghost of Sparta. You address the goddess of the underworld. Your daughter is well. She lives among the pure souls in the Elysian fields. Lead me to her! Have you forgotten, Kratos? The Olympians need you. They slumber at the hand of Morpheus. I have faithfully served the gods, yet they do not give me what I ask. True, true. I grow weary of their demands. The gods on Olympus failed me too, Kratos. I was betrayed by Zeus and tricked by my husband, Hades. Now I am to stay in the underworld as queen of the dead, to serve the fallen and care for them as my own children. Persephone, I demand to see my daughter. As you wish. If Calliope is your true desire, I can help you. But be warned, ghost of Sparta. The world of man will suffer because of your choice. I care little for the world and its suffering. Where is she? If you are to see your daughter again, you must become worthy of Elysium. Cast your weapons at the Forsaken Tree, and let it release the evils of your past. Only then will you be free of your sins, and be granted passage through the Divine Gates. No, I can't be that easy. I, I, oh my gosh. But she seems nice. Persephone seems nice. <laughs> Yo. Oh my god, Kratos, are you really doing this? Oh, he really- Oh, shucks, he really is doing this. You have done well, Kratos. Walk through the portal and find the one you seek. Okay, just making sure I don't miss anything. Calliope! What's father? 
my child. Why did you go? I am here now, child. Oh my god. And I will not leave you again. I have watched over you pathetic mortals for a thousand years, and it is always the same. Serving yourself before the needs of others has always been your flaw. But no matter. For now you serve my purpose. It is time for all that came before to end. The Titan will fulfill his role and finish what I have started. I released Atlas. You? As it was you her. Were pathetically disarming yourself, Atlas completed the task I set him out to do. With the power of the sun in his hands, it is only a matter of time before he destroys the pillar that holds the world. And Olympus with it. But why? Do you think it was my choice to wed a man I did not love? Live a life I did not choose? I was betrayed by the very gods that once saw me as their own. But no more. Once the pillar is destroyed, the world will revert into chaos. And what is to become of you? I will have my peace and be free from this miserable existence. I will perish, but it is my choice. Father, what's happening? I'm scared. In your selfish choice to be with your daughter, you have caused her ruin. No. What? Elysium falls to Kratos. She will perish. No! I will not let the gods take her from me again! No! Father. The choice was clear to him, yet impossible to make. To stay with his daughter meant the end of the world and the end of her. To stop Persephone and Atlas would mean forsaking his daughter forever. While his hatred and anger for the gods grew ever stronger, he knew there was but one thing to do. No! What? Yeah, oh my god. Screw this, I don't want to do this. This sucks. I'm gonna take a break. A little bit. That's so cool. That's so cool. Father! Oh my Father, god! No! Oh shoot! That guy was a good. That guy was a good guy spirit! Kratos soon realized that what he gained in humanity, he lost in power. Poor Kratos. Oh my god, now he has to become a monster to save his daughter. This is... Save 
feels so bad for Kratos. Imagine what he must be going through internally while doing all of this, like right now. And yet still being able to kick ass. Kratos knew his destiny was not with Calliope. The fates were never that kind. This is it. This is where I, this is where I got scarred for life. Oh, Chelsea. For life. I'm kind of in shock. I'm sorry if I'm quiet. I'm just kind of like thinking about everything and I... I'm just maxing everything out. I think this is the game where I'm kind of like... 
where it's really dawning on me everything that Kratos has gone through. Very, very crappy. She looks like a Valkyrie. Or is there no music? Oh my god, I didn't realize. Oh, that was kind of a warm up. I just wanted to feel out the battle anyway. So, one of you guys mentioned to just keep using Tartarus Rage over and over. Um, it makes it pretty easy, so I'll try it this time. the very first Valkyrie fight.
Go to her. Be with her. No. Leave this world behind. Atlas. Yo, he really, she really just tried. Girl, you thought. Okay, I want the circle does something. Ay! Oh my gosh, I'm guy. Yo! Okay, I'll remember that for later. I'll remember that for later.
شخص Oh, you better not be healing, girl. You are but a slave to my <gasps> Okay, we probably have to go in the center and do the L1 thing with this with that with that fight. Oh my god, that's how he got in that position! In God of War 2! At last. Perhaps you believe the Olympians will help you. But I ask, where are your gods now, Kratos? Why do they not come to your aid? I do not need the aid of the gods! But my path is now clear to me. I will serve them! And they will keep their promise to free me from my past! I ask you, Spartan, what good is the promise of an Olympian? It is all I have, Atlas! Oh my god! Yes! Plant those seeds, Atlas. Spartan. The fates. Mm hmm we did. God of War One too. day, you will regret what you have done here. The mighty Atlas was Oh left my for god. Children, cursed to forever hold the world on his shoulders. Greater penance than even Zeus himself had placed on the Titans. The fate of Atlas had been sealed. And the goddess Persephone was no more. Kratos had saved mankind, but that mattered little to him. By forsaking his daughter, he had abandoned the only person he ever cared for. What he had long sought and finally found was now forever lost. 
I think that could still kind of be a happy ending, As though. As the sun chariot rose higher in the sky, and the might of Helios shone once again on the world, Morpheus retreated to the shadows. Kratos gained little satisfaction from his victory. With years of servitude in front of him, he would need to confront his past and fight to reclaim the humanity he lost on the day his dark legend was born. Oh my god, oh my gosh, I have so much to say! Oh my god, dude. Okay, I think it's just the credits now and I have so much to say and let me start off by saying I feel like my god of war journey has gone full circle now i mean i kind of just want to replay everything again and this time in order again because everything is just so freaking amazing like you i finally understand now everything that kratos went through all the trauma that he has like why he is the way he is and maybe how he even is in god of war 4 like 2018 you could just see how it really is a different Kratos and now I'm really happy they went a different direction for God of War 4 because it just really seemed like Kratos matured and he's not just this bloodthirsty man. Um, and I just kind of can't believe that ah, this is just really good. Like I really love it and honestly now I just want a remake of everything. If they can make a remake with the director's cut, that would be even better. Like things that they could add somewhere. But this is just so fun. Like I... <sighs> Fudge. It's official. I think I can finally say this now because I've played everything. God of War... He's, in, he's part of my favorite games ever. Like, And I can say that <laughs> confidently because I've played all of the games. It's kind of just amazing, really. I'm actually thinking of playing God of War 4 again, like on a much more difficult mode. Just because I feel like I, like, especially knowing that I, what I know because I've played God of War 2 and God of War 3 and seeing the scenes, like with Persephone dying and with Atlas being in the position that he is now. It was because of me! I did that! <laughs> but, wow, really, I. Kratos' story is hella tragic, but. In a way, you could also think that it is a happy ending because he was able to actually save his daughter, but bittersweet, definitely bittersweet because that part where we, where we ourselves had to shove her away, that was... I hated it. I, I thought it was complete BS. <laughs> It'd be so badass and the gore that would be so cool but really like i think this is the more um this chains of olympus is the game that really made me see his psyche maybe understand his psyche a whole lot more compared to the other games because i mean if you just play god of war one two and three it's just really a bloodbath but with um, Ascension and Chains of Olympus, you can kind of actually see, not kind of, you can see where he was coming from and why he is the way that he is, especially now in God of War 4, and why he is the way he is with Atreus. The dire toll of his relentless battles finally caught up with him as Kratos fell from the chariot to the earth. Was this sacrifice too much for one to bear? Even for the man who was known as the Ghost of Sparta. Oh my god! Okay, I thought, I thought he landed on the rock. That would have been... Whoa. He has again served us well, Athena. 
He is a remarkable man. He is weak. Shall we help him? He'll live. They must. Who's that with Athena? That couldn't have been um, his brother, her brother. Oh my gosh. Anyway, freaking amazing. Such an amazing game. I love it. I hope you guys loved it. I hope you guys had fun watching me play it. And if you guys did, of course, don't forget to comment down below. Hit that subscribe button and of course, give me a thumbs up because then I would know what kind of content you guys like in my channel. Ah, oh, such an amazing game. I'm so happy. Really, I am. Like, dude, I freaking love God of War. <laughs> I love it so much. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.